What's the number one challenge for businesses today? Workforce development. Attracting, recruiting, and retaining people. And that's why we created this podcast. Designed for the frustrated CEO, the under-resourced recruiter, or the overworked manager to give you the tools to tackle those WTF moments. It's time to open another Workforce Therapy File. Hello, welcome to Workforce Therapy Files. We're at the Kentucky Sherm 2024 conference. I got Matt with me. Matt, how you doing, bud? Better than I deserve. Glad awesome, man. Well, thanks for jumping in here and doing this mini podcast with us. Um, tell us your full name and what you do and how you got to doing that. Uh, my name is Matt Murray. I own Touchdown Business Solutions out of New Albany, Indiana. We're an employment agency. Uh, we do staffing and recruiting across a variety of different industries. We're a generalist firm. Um, we provide employer record services, uh, but we are an independent, uh, started from a cell phone and a laptop and uh, doing really well. So I've, I've uh, fell into that. I was in HR first. Um, I was working for a company that was the, they were, it was Party City ultimately, but uh, they manufactured paper plates. And we got the contract for Frozen, and it was rumored to be a joke. And we went from 120 employees to 180 employees. Well, wow. and by the end of that surge in staffing in three months, we were all like, "Let it go, let it go." <laughs> and uh, no, I learned a lot in that time. It was a baptism by fire, but I learned some good, some bad, and some ugly. Yeah, that inspired me to say, "Okay, maybe I can do this well, and maybe I can, yeah. maybe my standards will be okay." It's aged really well for us. So um, there are two questions in any relationship with any employer. Uh, an employee and employees for us are it's candidates come in and have those questions of can I trust you and do you care about me and mm. I take those very seriously and so um, you know the way they show that they can trust me is are they paid every week I and mean, it's the easiest way to do it is make sure payroll is always right um, but also to let them know hey I'm grateful when, when there's anybody they can they could work for to be that choice is a big deal so yeah um, how I got into that was was I wanted to make a difference. I had seen some stuff firsthand that I just seen, I had felt was unacceptable mm-hmm. um, by uh, some vendors that we'd had. And I, I said, this is, uh, it, it really upset me. Yeah. Um, and those kinds of moments are ones where you can say, okay, I can just let this upset me or yeah. I can keep this and, and make a note of it and change when I'm ready to make a change. So, yeah. It's funny so you mentioned the, the frozen thing. I, uh, and, and, you know, struggles like that, when you find them, um, sometimes it can inspire you to jump out like it did for you and do your own thing. Same kind of happened to me. I own a marketing agency because I kind of saw the other side of it. I hired marketing agencies from my old company and I'm like, gosh, this could be done so much better. So it's kind of what you've done here is you've jumped in and said, I think I've got another way of looking at this and helping small businesses, which is a big part of what you do. Yes. Small to medium sized businesses are our bread and butter. Yes. We love we are small and mighty, and other businesses that are small and mighty that maybe only need one or two people are fantastic for us. Yeah. Um, but it, if they need a small army, we can. We've got those systems in place too. But no, we love our mom and pop shops. I mean, you know, two thirds of businesses in America are small businesses, and and they deserve support as well. And they deserve that white glove treatment. That they deserve um, a steadfast and sterling quality process. Yeah. Just as the bigger firms do, I call it. There's four tiers for us when we're selling. There's business to um, there's business to consumer, which we don't really do. Then there's business to business, which I consider your mom and pops. Mm-hmm. There's business to enterprise, which I consider to be your large companies. And we we typically there's a lot more red tape around that. And there's uh, the processes are kind of defined already. Yeah. Um, and then business to government, which something interesting about government too, just so you're aware. Um, since 2010 the number of small businesses doing business with the government has fallen by almost 80%. Wow, that's huge. That's so, shocking. We don't really focus on that part. <laughs> yeah, so, no doubt. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, our, our small business partners, they're, they're on the bus. Yeah. And, and it has to be a, it's a partnership. It's not a, I'm not going to tell you how to run your business, but because they're my employees, I, I can coach you how to treat people better and how to become better leaders and better bosses. And it, it, it matters. Yeah. You know, we want retention too. I don't want to have a constant turn and burn situation. It's far more expensive to fill a job that pays $15 an hour than one that pays 17 Yeah. Creates more work for everybody to do that. Absolutely. And, and stress. And how long have you been doing this? February 15th, 2019. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. What a time. To start a job. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, go ahead and get into it. And, you know, the total next year is going to be completely normal. And then, uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> no, not yeah, normal. Nothing at all. At all so. <laughs> but I have had some phenomenal team members along the way. And, I mean, it, it takes – you can't do it by yourself. No, absolutely. Really 
So. Well, hey, where can people find you? What's the website? www.touchdown, like in football, and then biz.com. Oh, touchdownbiz.com. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Thank thanks you. for doing this. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for All having right. me. Thanks for listening to the Workforce Therapy Files. We hope you learned something new and we're thankful for the time that you spent with us today. If there's a topic you'd like us to discuss, reach out to us. Our contact information is listed in the show notes. Until next time, keep your head up.